Septimius Severus was an African Roman emperor. Because he was an emperor, we know a lot about him and what he looked like. We have written sources, we have coins showing his image, we have statues, and we even have one surviving coloured painting. Cassius Dio was a Roman historian. He wrote the most reliable account of Severus's life in his Roman history book. Severus was born in the Libyan city of Leptis Magna in Roman Africa. His mother was of Italian Roman ancestry and his father was of North African ancestry. Severus died in York at the age of 65 and we have written sources confirming his resting place to be the mausoleum of Hadrian in Rome. However, his remains have since been lost, which means that we cannot use archaeological techniques on his remains to find out more about him. Thousands of coins do survive from the Roman period, which picture the Emperor Severus. We know it, that it is him on the coins because they have his name written on them in Latin. He is pictured to have tight curly hair and a beard. The image on the coins is very similar to how he is shown in statues that survive of him from the Roman period. He is often discussed as the first black emperor. Now there are issues with this as there is no evidence that 100% fits with this interpretation. There are statues that prove that Roman artists were able to produce portraits of people with strong African features that would typically be considered as black. However, none of Severus's portraits show him with such features, which makes us question how typically African he may have looked. This can be a difficult topic of conversation. However, it's really important not to misrepresent people in history. The population of the Roman Empire was very diverse and there were people with all different skin tones. The Severan Tondo is the only surviving Roman painting which shows Severus, his wife and his two sons, although Greta's face has since been erased. The Severan Tondo was created around AD 200 and it is thanks to the dry climate in Egypt that it has survived. Now here is two pictures of the Severan Tondo in slightly different lightings. But it's clear to see that Severus, who is pictured here in the top right with the gold crown, that he has been painted with a darker skin tone to the rest of his family members. Now this would make sense considering his ancestry. From this painting, some historians have described him as a person of colour with a similar skin tone to the present day Libyans. So Emperor Septimius Severus was born on the African continent. This means that he was African, but was he black? I would like you to research this argument and come up with your own opinion to the question, can we call Septimius Severus a black emperor? Gather your own research on what Septimius Severus looked like and has been pictured like throughout history. This could be finding images of Roman coins or statues or any other sources of information that will help with your argument.